Okay, so today we're still finding area, but we're going to do composite figures. And that basically is just kind of taking everything we've been doing and putting it all together. So let's go to full screen. Let's slide this over here. All right, so first thing we're going to do, uh, com the composite area figures. So you have a definition at the top of your page. So by definition, composite area is, let's see, how do I want to? Composite figures are figures that can be separated into regions that are basic shapes. So composite figures is what we're going to be working with today. All right, so here we go. The air, what we're going to do is find the area of the composite region or the shaded region, whatever they've given us, okay? So first thing you need to do is that here at the bottom, there's a mistake on your paper. It says 7. You need to change that to an 11 because starting from here to here is 7. Then from here to here is 3, and then the rest is 1, so that would make it 11. So we need to fix that. So first thing we need to do is we need to divide this up into um, regions that are basic because this clearly is not a basic shape. So um, what we're going to do here is, let's see, I have a line, so I'm going to divide this up. I'm going to extend this line, and then I'm going to extend this line. And then that way, now I have three basic shapes. So this one is a 7 by 12. So this is a 7 by 12. So 7 times 12 is 84. So that region is 84. Um, this one here is a 3 by something. We'll have to figure that one. We'll have to figure out the height of this here in a minute. This piece here is a 1 by 9. So what I need to do now is figure out, okay, what is the area of this piece here? So if this is 3, how would we do that? What do you think? Well, from here all the way down is 12, right? Well, if from here to here is 5, then this piece here has to be a 7 because it needs to complete the side here, which is 12. So this is a... 3 by 7, so this one would be 21. This one here is a 1 by 9. So now you just add up all three pieces. So we've got 84 plus 21 plus 9. So 84 plus 21 plus 9 is 114. So the area is 114 units squared. All right, number 2. This one here, we have, um, there's three figures actually happening here. We have half of a circle here on the end. Then we have the rectangle all the way here. But then we have this triangle right here. Well, this triangle is an equilateral triangle. So remember, we talked about the formula for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, I have half of a circle. Half of a circle. So I have this half here. Then I have this whole rectangle, so plus the rectangle. But since the triangle is not shaded, then I'm going to need to subtract the triangle. So I'm going to find the area of each piece and then add or subtract what's necessary. So first of all, um, the area of a circle is pi r squared, but I only need half of it. So I'm going to divide it by 2. So pi radius squared divided by 2. Well, the diameter is 6, so that makes the radius 3. So this would be pi 9 over 2. So this would be 4.5 pi. Or if we do exact, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and go 9 pi over 2. All right, so now the rectangle. Well, the rectangle is length times width. Well, this is 19 times 6, so that would be 19 times 6. So 19 times 6 is 114. So this would be plus 114. So I'm going to go over here and write plus 114 because we're doing exact over here. Now we have the triangle. Remember, it's equilateral, so remember I showed you that formula, the s squared square root of 3 over 4. 
So we're adding and then subtracting that. So we're adding and then subtracting that. Well, since the side is 6, that's 6 squared, square root of 3 over 4. So that would be 36 square root of 3 over 4, which is 9 square root of 3. So this would be plus 9 square root of 3. So this would be your exact answer. But numerically, we could just type this into the calculator as we see it, 4.5 pi plus 114 minus 9 square root of 3, and we get 112.5 units squared. So that would be your approximation there. All right, number three. All right, number three is a circle with the trapezoid. So this is how I always do these. I think, okay, if I'm wanting the shading re shaded region, then I'm going to take the circle and I'm going to subtract a trapezoid. So it's always something minus something. The outer piece goes on the outside. So I think, okay, the circle area is pi r squared. The trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. So let's do the circle first. So pi r squared. Well, if the radius is 7, so that would be 49 pi. And I'm just going to leave it like 49 pi. Why make your life difficult? Now, base over here, well, if this is 7, then this piece here is 7. So base 1, that would be here. So base 1 would be 8. Plus base 2 would be from here to here. So that would be 14 divided by 2 times the height. And the height would be this here, which we don't know. So I know this piece is 5 because that's what the 5 goes to. So I'm going to make it more obvious. Um, I also know that this here, this piece here is 8. Well, if the whole thing is 14 and you subtract out the 8, you're left with 6. Well, if this piece here and this piece out here have to share the 6, that makes each one of them 3. So if this is 3 and this is 5, and the height, of course, has to be perpendicular to your base, then that means this has to be 4 because it fits the 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple rule. So now my height is 4. So 8 plus 14 is 22, divided by 2 is 11, so this is 11 times 4, so 44. So your area would be 49 pi minus 44, and this would be units squared. Okay, number four. So find the area of the shaded, leave your answer in terms of pi. We've been doing that anyway. So I see that I have a square and I'm going to need to subtract the circle. So the area of a square is just side squared. Well, if my side is 20, 20 squared is 400. The circle is pi r squared. Well, if the diameter all the way across the circle is 20, then what is the radius? Well, it's 10. So this would be pi 10 squared. So this would be minus 100 pi. And that is your answer. And this would be units squared. So that would be your total answer, the area of the shaded region. OK, number five. Well, now I see that I have um, a rectangle and two circles. So I'm going to go a rectangle minus two circles. Well, if this is 10, if the diameter of the circle is 10 this way, then isn't the diameter of the circle 10 this way? And the diameter of this circle is also 10 because it's still the same height. So that makes the length of this rectangle 20. So the rectangle is length times width, which is 10 times 20. So that would be 200 minus 2 pi r squared, because I have two circles. So 2 pi, if the diameter is 10, then that makes the radius 5. So 5 squared is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So minus 50 pi. And that would be inches squared. So your answer is 200 minus 50 pi. Number six. It says you have a regular hexagon inside of a circle. So this is circle minus hexagon. Well, circle is pi r squared. 
and the hexagon is PA over 2, perimeter times a pothem divided by 2. Well, the radius of the circle is 6, so this is pi 6 squared, so 36 pi. So now I need to find the apothem. And if you'll remember the rule, the radius of your hexagon or the radius of a hexagon is the same as the side of the hexagon. So that means I can find my perimeter because if there's six sides and each side is six, that makes my perimeter 36. So I know the perimeter is 36. So what I need to do is find the apothem. Well, if the whole angle of your hexagon is 120, then when you draw this, this is 60. So that makes this angle up here 30. Well, in a hexagon or in a um, special right triangle, a 30, 60, 90, the hypotenuse is always double the short side. So that makes this three. And then your hypo or your um, long side is three square root of three. Because remember your label. So your apothem would be three square root of three. So now I've got 36 times three divided by two. So 54. So this piece is 54 and you still have the square root of three here. Now it says give your answer numerically. Well, first of all, I'm going to write it exact. So this would be 36 pi minus 54 square root of 3. So that's your exact answer. To get your numerical answer, just type it in the calculator. 36 pi minus 54 square root of 3. I get 19.6 and that would be units squared. Okay, number seven. You have an equilateral triangle and they want numerical. We're going to do both. So this time I have a circle minus a triangle. And since it's equilateral triangle, we can use that easy formula. So circle is pi r squared minus side squared square root of three over four. So pi times radius squared, which I do not know the radius because they gave me the apothem. So I need to find the radius. Well, remember this is 60, so this becomes your 30. Well, that means your x is the square root of 3. So that means the radius is 2x, so that would be 4 square root of 3. So now I know this is 4 square root of 3. So if I square this, 4 squared is 16. The square root of 3 squared is 3. 16 times 3 is 48 pi. So there's the area of the circle. So now, if you'll remember that in a 30, 60, 90, this is your x, this is your 2x, this is your x square root of 3. Well, if your x square root of 3, if your x is 2 square root of 3, so that means I've got 2 square root of 3 for x, I still have this square root of 3 for this piece. So now I've got 2 times 3, so this is 6. So this piece here is 6, which means this piece is 6, so the whole piece is 12. So now I've got 12 squared, square root of 3, over 4. So that's 144 divided by 4, which is 36. So this would be minus 36 square root of 3. So this would be your exact answer. To get the numerical, you just type it in and hit enter. 48 pi minus 36 square root of 3. So that would be 88.4. And this would be inches squared. Okay, number 8. Number 8 says this is a square, so since it's a square, that means everything's the same. Um, they tell me that this is 1 half x. So I've got a square minus a triangle. Well, the square is going to be side squared minus, since this triangle is not equilateral, it's just base times height divided by 2. So since my side is 1 half x squared, that means I have to square both pieces. So 1 half squared would be 1 fourth x squared. 
So that would be the area of the whole square. So now the height, well, if you think about it, the height of this triangle, and that's a lovely square, that, or a lovely straight line, but since this side is 1 half x, that's also the height of my, the height of my triangle. So the base of the triangle is the base of the square, so that's 1 half x times the height, which is 1 half x, then I got to divide the whole thing by 2 because I'm just looking for the triangle. So this is going to be 1 fourth x squared divided by 2. So now I've got 1 fourth. So what's half of 1 fourth? Well, that's 1 eighth x squared. So now the square is 1 fourth x squared minus the triangle, which is 1 eighth x squared. So since they're like terms, that means I need a common denominator. Well, if I multiply the 4 by 2, it gives me 8, so I need to multiply the 1 by 2 also. So this would be 2 eighths x squared minus 1 eighth x squared, giving me 1 eighth x squared. So that would be the area of your shaded region, and this would be units squared. Number 10. We're going to divide it into regions again, and there's two ways. You can divide it this way and this way, where you have three regions, or you can just do two regions, or however you want to do it. It's just a matter of preference. So, don't know what just happened there. Let's see if we can make that go away. Eraser. All right, that's just not going to work, is it? All right, so we're going to go through here. We're going to draw the line through here, so just bear with me. This is an E, so this section here would be E times D, so this would be E, D. Well, this here, all the way across is B, and then from here to here is A, so this would be A, B. So then the area would be the combination of the big section plus the little section, and then that's your answer. You're done. Super easy. Okay, number 11. The shaded area would be, they're wanting you to leave it in terms of X and Y. So I have a triangle minus a circle. Well, since this is a right triangle, then we're going to go base times height divided by 2. So remember we talked about in a right triangle, you just multiply the legs. So the legs here are x's. So this is x times x divided by 2. So x squared over 2. Minus the circle, which is pi r squared. In this case, my radius is y. So this would be pi y squared. So minus pi y squared. So that would be your answer because it says to do it in terms of the variables. So that would be it. That's all you have to do. And then the last, the end. Hope you have a great day and we will see you next class.